Ah, uh, electric power vehicles. A bullshit? The wave of the future. You know, the Jetsons as compared to those pesky, petrol-filled gas power cars like the Flintstones. <laughs> Supposed to make the environment safer, you know, climate change. Bullshit. But after taking billions of losses the last couple of years by manufacturers. Oh no! Anyway, look. Fuck! Yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> I'm Jasper Gonzo on this. <laughs> so, what's next? Howdy doody, ladies and gentlemen. Jazz Berganza, what's next? Your daily dose. Hope you guys are feeling good today on this Monday. Well, climate change. Now, normally I don't talk about this because uh, most of it is a lot of hoo ha, a lot of baloney, a lot of malarkey, a lot of bullshit. And of course, I like to date back to 2013 where 31,000 scientists, geologists, and meteorologists said, yeah, you know what? Uh, we need to pump the brakes on this thing because we don't know the degree of human activity that has caused, quote-unquote, climate change. But that's just my opinion. <clears throat> Excuse me. But when it comes to electric power vehicles, we've seen this forced push upon those of us who are old school, if you, well, if you can call us old school, who like our gas-powered, petro-run vehicles. EV vehicles were supposed to be the future. They were supposed to be the Jetsons to basically eliminate, to make, you know, go away the dinosaur that is the gas power vehicles, i.e. the Flintstones. But Tesla has been the only one to make, you know, to make good on, on its word. Now, we have heard some things regarding uh, spontaneous combustions of uh, Tesla vehicles, just saying. But for the most part, EV vehicles have been at best, while most everybody still say, hey, you know what, I'd rather drive a Prius, which is a hybrid, versus straight up EVs. Yeah, someone forgot to tell their manufacturers, because they are taking on billions of losses, and yet, they're still cranking out these shits. And here we go. This comes out of Breitbart. Ford loses $1.3 on electric vehicles in its first quarter of 24. Not the fourth quarter, not the middle, the first. Delays plans to make more. You know, we're gonna hold up. We're just gonna hold up on making more because, because there's a problem. Ford Motor Company reported a whopping $132,000 loss on each electric vehicle. 132,000 loss per vehicle. Sold during the first three months of 24, amassing a 1.3 billion loss. The auto, matter, uh, the auto manufacturer's electric vehicle unit revealed Thursday they'd experienced a 20% decrease in sales volume from a year ago and were forced to slash prices due to low consumer demand. Gee, I wonder why there's such a non-demand. The revenue for Ford's EV car modeled E-plunged, I'm sorry, E-plunged, it's not called the E-plunge, uh, by 84% to about $100 million, while the company blamed the EV price cuts across the country on the auto industry. Uh, that resulted in a $1.3 billion loss for uh, interest in taxes, EBIT, and the massive per vehicle loss per model E unit, the publication noted. The recent figures are part of a trend for a loss of Ford. While their model E reportedly a full EBIT loss of $4.7 billion on the sale of 116,000 units, this is an average loss of 40000 per vehicle. And even that is just a third of the per vehicle seen in the first three months of 24. Now, the company officials are estimating that their EV division will lose a grand total Wait for it. Five billion dollars this year, up from up from four point seven. So they lost four point seven a year ago. Now they're going to lose five. Nice. Uh, now the company, uh, excuse me, Americans don't want EVs at levels Biden's climate hysteria required. Author and businessman Andy Putzer wrote an X. For his EV Q, uh, quarter one losses soared to 1.3, a ridiculous 132,000 per vehicle. All Ford profits came from combustion engine vehicles. Yes, those nasty, pesky gas power vehicles. Collectivist policies destroyed prosperity. Twitter, uh, well, actually, a number of Twitter comments. This does not appear to be sustainable, said environmentalist Patrick Moore. Energy and environmental scientist expert Steve Malloy called Ford loss a massive EV disaster. 
Ford announced earlier this year that the, um, um, I'm sorry, earlier this month that the company would delay producing two new vehicles, opting for hybrid instead. Gee, again, I wonder why. Many companies rushed too fast with the EVs that were too expensive and there were not as much of a market as in, uh, for them as they thought. Sam uh, Abelsmid, transportation and mobility analyst for the research company Guidehouse Insights, told New York Times that made it a lot tougher to sell those vehicles. Well, we go from that to this. This comes out of Money Magazine. EV sales are in a slump. Why aren't more car buyers going electric? Gee, I wonder why. See the article I just did. Anyway. The EV revolution is losing momentum. After electric car sales soared in 22, interest among buyers has underwhelmed and plans for a rapid transition away from gas powered vehicles could be in jeopardy. Want to read more? Hit the money article. And of course, this was done in November of last year. The way of the future. The Jetsons, you know. Look how great Elon Musk is doing with Tesla. We can all do it. We can, we, we, we can all do it. So instead of it letting organically happen, you know, 5, 10, 15 years down the road, no, 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 Dementia Joe and all the other knuckleheads, you know, who want to produce these trash vehicles are forcing this green energy policy bullshit down the throats of you and me. It's for the climate. Save the planet. We need to make electric vehicles the way of the future for everyone. We need to make sure that everyone is going to get these EV vehicles. No matter how much damage it does to the planet, we're going to do it anyway. Because people, if you didn't know this, there are people actually out there who think electricity, you know, is not manufactured. It just comes from the air, you know. Lightning strikes, they catch it, they pull it in a bottle, they stuff it in the car. Here's your EV vehicle. No. Electricity, my friends, if you didn't know, is coal produced. You know, the batteries that are made, they're not made here. They're made in China and other Asian countries, if you didn't know that. So, shh. But anyway, if you have all these knuckleheads, you know, these climate changers who are running around saying electric vehicles yes damn you gas for me you're going to have to pry my gas powered petro loving vehicle out of my cold dead hands to uh not so much quote the great charlton heston when he held up his gun in the air regarding the second amendment and with that being said, I'm Jazz Gonzo. This is What's Next. Want to see more like this? Please leave a comment below. Like it, share it, subscribe to it. Hit that notification bell so you guys never miss a thing. Continue spreading the word about the show. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Peace.